The finals is a really fun game. Y'all gotta check this game out. What's going on everybody, I'm an occasional gamer and I checked out the finals beta. Here are my first impressions of this new multiplayer battle royale style game. I first saw this game on the Xbox Partner Showcase and I was like, yo, this game looks intense. Visually, graphically, this game is stunning. The environment's stunning. The gameplay appeared to be stunning. The trailer of the game, stunning. And I'm here to report that all those things remain to be true when I play the game for myself. This is my own gameplay footage of playing the finals. This game is really fun. I mean, that should be a bare minimum requirement when it comes to a new game coming out. But I had to mention it. This game is really fun. I started off with the medium class because it was the first one available. But as soon as I unlocked the heavy class, that's what I, that's what I fell in love with. The heavy class for the finals. Yo, it hit me right here, y'all. I was shooting people. I was get, getting some kills. I was getting into the groove of things. I was just, you know, picking off people, collecting coins, depositing it into the bank. And that's what this game is all about. It's a new take on the battle multiplayer royal genre. We're dealing with dollars, coins, macaroons, buckaroons, bread. The game mode I focused on was similar to the Call of Duty game mode where it's basically team deathmatch, but the objective is to pick up the eliminated player's dog tag. And the finals, it's the same thing, kind of. You go out in teams of three, you bouncing on jump pads, you zip lining across the environment, and you picking off people, and they drop coins. They drop dollars. The objective is pick up their coins, find a little debit machine around the map, and deposit. You go like this, you go, mm. You deposit coins to add points to fill up towards the objective. The team with the most points wins. And in this game, you can get crafty. There's jump pads, there's zip lines all over the place. The world, the environment is destructive. It's very reminiscent of Battlefield. Anything is destructive. Say you're in a building, there's a team fight going on. You can just throw a grenade against the floor. The floor blows up. You just flank the people down there, shoot up all of them, get, get the coins and deposit it into the bank. It's really fun. My only criticism with this game mode at this point, with there being so many teams, not too many, it's not too many players, but there's different teams. Like you either go and try to be very dominant and just rush in there, get as much kills as possible, deposit in the bank. But meanwhile, you're doing a team fight. Another person's flanking around, sneaking. That's how the game goes. Like really, it's like you're either really in there, you're sneaking or you're trying to catch up or you're getting washed. That's, that's how the games went for me. I don't know what they can do to change that because it's like it's very different perspectives. Everybody playing the same game, but it's either you're catching up, you're getting washed, you're trying to be very dominant and, and very aggressive, or you're flanking all the time and you're sneaking, just picking out people to deposit money at the last second to win the game. For the rounds that I played, it was never neck and neck. It was just very, someone was dominating and everybody was trying to catch up and everybody fighting in the back, trying to catch up. Everyone was getting washed. You would collect coins, but then you go to deposit them, then you get mosh up. That might just be the nature of the game. I don't know if there's anything to fix that or if that's what they intended it to be, but that was just my experience. My first impression of the beta. And again, this is beta. This is not the full game. The full game is not out. This is just the beta testing. So I'm sure a lot of issues will be fixed out and worked out in the future. But this is my first impressions. I didn't get a chance to play with my friends yet because they haven't downloaded it as of yet. But if you're trying to play with me, link in the description, join the Discord. We can get some games going. I'm sure it would be a different experience if you're like actually cooperating with voice chat to get things done in this game. But I was playing with randoms. We still had a good time, but you know, I'm sure it would be a different experience. I like the upgrading and level up system for this game. You don't have to like lock in and use only one weapon. I mean, there's not many to choose from. It's just a beta. But in terms of unlocking things, you get experience points from the games and you can use those points to buy any upgrade, any unlockable you would like. You don't have to go through like a specific skill tree and follow a direction. Whatever play style that you're going for, if there's something that you don't want to unlock, you don't have to. If there's something that you're interested in, you can just save up your experience points and buy what you want specifically. No skill tree needed. I like that likes that and there's a little crafting in this game it's not fortnite extensive 
Don't get carried away now. You ain't gonna build you no tree house. But you can put up a little rock. You can put up a little shield to protect yourself. A little cover. Get under the covers. But I'm really liking the pace that this game is going. I really, I really, as someone who is into, you know, graphics, motion design, all that kind of stuff, this game feels and looks very unique, very distinctive, very bold. I really like the art style of this game. And this game is fun. Without a doubt, this game is fun. And that's what matters. My only concern at this point in this day and age with little attention spans and many first person shooting games coming out and dropping like flies. Games these days, especially Battle Royale, with so many coming out, last a very short time. Like it will get the buzz for like two, three months. Everybody's playing it, the player base is up. And then after that, it's like, what can you give me to continue to have a strong player base? What can you give me? What upgrades does this game intend to have to continue to bring the player base? The game being fun, it is fun, don't get me wrong, but that's the bare minimum. Like what's gonna keep players coming back? I'm not sure about that yet. I hope they have something in the blueprint, but for me right now, I don't know what's gonna keep players coming back to this game, other than it being new. Cause when I mean games like this come out often and drop like flies, Gundam Evolution is shutting down. Shutting down! Gundam Evolution! It's a game that I checked out with my friends and that game was basically Overwatch. It was like a Gundam Seed skin for Overwatch. I checked it out. I didn't like it. I'm sure there were people that did for a little bit. And I looked into the reason why Gundam Evo why is Gundam Evolution shutting down? And this is coming from the creators themselves. I had to get my phone now. I don't know why I didn't want to misquote nobody. Y'all think I'm being too harsh. Unfortunately, we have determined that it is no longer possible for us to provide a service that satisfies our players. That's coming straight from the source. I ain't gonna lie, that game never satisfied me from the beginning. I played that game and I was like, yo, this, this is not for me. I'm not gonna say that it's trash. That game was trash, yo. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Yo, that game, yo, that, uh, the only thing that game did was piss me off. <laughs> Honestly, that game just pissed me off. I didn't know what was going on. I just started the map, I spawned, and everyone was just died. Everyone just dead, everyone just shot up. I was like, yo, what's going on? Bro, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! What just happened? And then when I started to get more a little bit familiar with the game, I'm like, it's just Overwatch. It's just a bad version of Overwatch. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And that's my concern with the finals. There's only two game modes and not a lot of guns. And there's not much to see. Not much. That, there's not too much extensive to do in the beta. And again, it is just the beta. But y'all catch my drift what is gonna keep the player base what updates what upgrades is this game gonna be a focused on esports is this game gonna be focused on the casual like i'm, I'm not too sure what what side they're leaning on what side the gamers are leaning on either what, what what's gonna be the outcome of this game is it gonna be another gundam evolution i hope not this game is fun but this is just the style of game that comes up and drops but y'all check out the beta for yourself. Let me know what you enjoy about it or what you don't like about it. For me, myself and I, I'm really enjoying it. I think the game is really fun. I had a great time, to be honest. I had my moments when I was doing really well. I had my moments when I was getting washed. And oh, just not being, <laughs> oh my goodness. Not being familiar with the maps. There are a lot of times where I was just walking off, jumping down, think I'm gonna land on something and I just died. Like there's a lot of times that me and my teammates all together, <laughs> Just, just fell off the map. <laughs> just jumped off, jumped off, and, and just like, oh, we gotta wait to respawn again. That sucks. But my first impressions of this game is really good. It's really good. But any Battle Royale game that comes out is really good. That's what I'm just trying to stress. Like, for real, what's the angle here? What makes this so different that this is gonna stand the test of time? Y'all remember Rumble Versus? What happened to that? That was an extreme, different, unique take on Battle Royale. There's no Rumble versus Buzz. Ain't no more. Ain't no more. 
ain't nobody talking about rumble versus i hope this game is successful i hope this game you know really brings an element that is desired amongst players to keep the player base and the gameplay going because for what it is this game is really fun no doubt about that again y'all join the discord i'm trying to play with y'all i'm trying to drop some gameplay with y'all i'm trying to go live with y'all tune into the discord link in the description i appreciate y'all checking out this video and tuning in to an occasional gamer checking out my first impressions of the finals i'll definitely be covering more about this game as we get more information as we get out of beta as we come closer to the full game i'm gonna be talking about this and supporting this game the game is fun y'all check it out for yourself y'all keep watching the videos y'all keep liking the videos y'all keep commenting y'all keep sharing and y'all keep subscribing appreciate y'all subscribing and tuning in to an occasional gamer we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. It's been like three months of me going, doing this YouTube thing. Appreciate y'all, we almost had 1,000 subscribers. Appreciate y'all, for real. For real. And I'll be dropping another video very soon. I'm an occasional gamer, and I'll see you in the next video. Ah! Bro, I'm actually tilting. I'm actually tilting, bro. I'm not, wait, I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm actually gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually tilting, bro. How do I leave? Control or delete, bro. Task manager, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning into this video, an occasional gamer. No one has a yet has said spit hot fire in the comments so I can rap on the outro. Comment down below, say spit hot fire. I know I'm an occasional gamer, but I can be an occasional rapper. I'll see you next time. Deuces, deuces, deuces.